evening all. Uh, so this is a follow-up video to my original uh, Create a Simple APK uh, with your Kodi wizard inside it. Um, it's been pointed out to me and I didn't pick up on the YouTube comments to be fair so I didn't know um, that I left out some files that needed to be edited. Um, actually that's not the case. Uh, what I did was overcomplicate the process slightly. Um, and I'll show you how. So if you just bear with me, so I'll, I'll create the APK um, zip file. I'll host it like I did before. Um, if we right-click on it and we extract here, give it a minute or so, and it will extract. Sorry about the awkward silence, um, just uh, almost there with the extraction. Right, so now we have our extracted APK file, which is uh, already decompiled the same as it was previously. Uh, so if I open that folder, you'll see uh, the tools required to, to build the APK, the command you need to compile the APK, and the JPEG as before with the images required. Um, so I will show you first off, so the images. Uh, now you can see that I only have one set of folders. Um, that is because the build folder is completely unnecessary. We don't need it, um, we don't have to edit it, we don't have to mess around with it at all. Um, so again, your files are ic underscore launcher dot png. They need to be, the file size is down the left hand side, so 72 by 72, and they go into the res stroke drawable folder that is um, relevant for whatever file size. These are basically your different views, or different icon sizes and stuff in, in Android. Um, so uh, once you've created those, if you drop them in the right folders, uh, you should be good to go. I've already done that. Uh, as you can see here in the res, the drawable folders, I have various different size launchers. Um, okay, so as before, what we need to do um, is once we've created the images, put them in the right folders, uh, go into the values folder and edit strings.xml with notepad. Um, and all we're really changing here is the app name. So you can change this uh, line 4 to be whatever you want it to be. I'm going to leave it as it is for now because uh, there's no need to change it. So if I close this, uh, then the only thing we're missing. Um, or the, not the only thing we're missing. The next step we have to do is, is add the wizard. Uh, so this would need to go into the assets folder as it did in the previous video. And you'll see the familiar structure again of Kodi. So if you go into add-ons and down to your plugins, um, I'll delete the one that's already in there and I'll copy over my wizard. Um, so essentially that's pretty much it from the files and folders. You, you don't need to edit any, anything else for this. If you were creating a fork, then there are a few extra steps, but for this instance, we're not. So uh, if I go back to uh, my desktop, and if I then click on the, the APK folder, shift and right click and open command window here. DIR, you'll see we're in the right folder. We've got the same tools, we've got the same everything. Um, you'll want to open up the build apk command, it's easier rather than just typing it. Um, you can edit this file, you can call your, your apk whatever you want to call it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, so basically, the command is apk um, tool B for build. Uh, then it's your folder name, then it's the output name of your Kodi APK. Um, so as I said, I'm, I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but I'm going to copy the command and drop it, drop it once. Into, and hit enter. And it will then generate the APK.
give it a second to do this. Um, while it's doing it, you can see uh, in the folders. start to generate the APK file in there um, and you'll notice the build folder which was uh, what we were editing before and uh, the reason we don't need to edit it is because as you can see as part of the process it actually creates it so I suspect what was happening previously where the name was being retained from my test version um, you probably weren't uh, you didn't have the rights to overwrite the file or it wasn't able to overwrite the files for some reason and it was retaining the name uh, so deleting it should get around this so, uh, it's still building the APK. And you can see uh, that's now completed. It's gone through uh, the, the five or six steps it needs to. It use, does the usual skipping screenshots. Um, from this point, we're done. We, um, we don't need to be in here anymore, so type exit. And if you go back into your APK folder, you'll see you have a fully um, compiled APK but it's not signed so as before uh, double click on easy APK disassembler and you want number four for sign an APK and then type in the name of your APK so it's code help underscore 16.1 dot APK don't forget the dot APK off the end enter um, it will take a uh, 30 seconds maybe a minute shouldn't be that long again awkward silence maybe I should get some music to play in the background while I'm doing these videos You may find this process slightly quicker on certain machines, um, some others may be slower, it will really depend on, on your PC. Um, but it's now finished, so if we push any key and 9 to exit because we're done. So now you see you have a signed APK, you can rename it, you can call it whatever you want, doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Um, but that APK I'm 99.9999% sure will no longer have any remnants of any test APK names from when I was uh, working on this before. Um, that should be should be good enough. You should be good to go. Uh, apologies for the mistake in the first video or the oversight in the first video. Um, and thank you. Cheers.